All right, here we are. Night number 10 of Elden Ring. Where am I? Oh. The converted fringe tower. So Mil we found Millicent again, who said she was chasing after the path that Millennia had taken up into the northern reaches of, I'm assuming, Mount Gelmir. Um, yeah, interesting. I, I can't wait to see how her quest line evolves that character. Let's see. Jarberg. Einsel River Well. Oh yeah, I never went and did that. There's um so we found a, a a pathway into the underground in Limgrave. There's one in Lyrnia also, which I haven't had yet a chance to explore, so let's go check that out. Oh, right. There's a big old giant over there. Guarding the entrance. I'm sure it'll be fine. cat is back. <laughs> she just came screaming into the room. And yeah, there she is. I think she's playing with her sister. Ray. Ray, what are you doing? Eon. Are the two of you playing? Let's see what's down this hole. There's an entire underground area down here. Look at this place. Just... Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, Jaguar. Those ants? What are those things? Oh my god, they are ants. Why is everything in the lands between just so absurdly huge? something back there. Those ants are huge. They're like several times my size. Hey, Rel. Yeah, I hear a lot of good things about that one. I was watching Angelus play the demo last night. After my stream. Oh, we have to get this loot, right? So maybe I can sneak by these ants. You know, maybe they maybe they won't notice me if I go get this loot. Hello, Ada. All right, that is not my spell. There we go. Oh, thankfully they don't have that many hit points. Ooh. <laughs> okay, that's good. I was a little worried. You hate insects? Avert your eyes. I think we found a giant anthill. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What is this?
I'm checking to see if I'm gonna have ants fall on me from the ceiling again. Silver firefly. Alright, so these are giant piles of meat and bones. Nice. Grade 3 smithing stone, alright. Anything else back here? Oh my, there's so, so much just raw meat lying around in that room. Disgusting. Wait, where are we now? What? What is that? It's a very large statue of a... a very elderly man. It's Rama. Einsel River Sluice Gate. Sluice Gate, obviously. Ool Palace Ruins. I love those guys look chipper. Just a roaming band of murderers over there. I'm not entirely sure what their deal is. Don't mind me, boys. I don't. I'm not actually here, okay? I don't think they buy it. Well, the good news is no more ants. Bad news is, well, they all know where I am now. <laughs> They're all coming for me. Uh, rolling around like pokeballs. Oh, this is fantastic. Right, we're just gonna run by here, I think. Oh, there's something up there. Wait, how do I get up there? Oh! 
Okay. Hi. Bye. All these little rolling boys coming after me. Nice. I want that loot though. That item back. No! Oh, God! What the? What? What is that thing? He who died, yeah. No kidding. What is that? I feel like I ask that question a lot. What is this? Why is that so ugly? How many arms does this thing have? I wonder, so that thing was, was hucking rocks at me. I wonder if I can just stand behind a wall or something like that to get through that room. Let's see. Here's the Ool Palace Ruins. I don't really see a way to get up to that... It's a sluice gate. Up to that item I was looking at right there. Just yet. So there's the thing that shot me with the rocks. Hey, Shadow. So no wonder there's so many dead things just on that staircase right there. Where do you suppose this goes? Oh, there's a side of grace right here. Thank you for that compliment. Appreciate that. More ants. Oh, good. I'm just trying to make sure that there's no ants on the ceiling. Immunizing Horn Charm. See, immunizing horn charm raises immunity. All right, that much is clear. All right, so the immunizing horn raises immunity. Good. Oh, oh, oh! Those big-eyed lizards. Oh, there's a couple more in there. Okay, we'll just leave them. We'll leave them right where they are. You know, we don't really need to go in there and fight them. Where is this going? Aeonian butterflies. 
grade 3 somber smithing stone. And I'm overlooking... It appears to be a, a river of red stuff. What looks like a temple right over there. This whole place is very unsettling. Soap! Soap! I can finally get clean! Removes filth and accumulation on the body. A plant-based soap made from mushroom juice. Cleans off filth and other accumulations on the body while also slightly reducing poison buildup. Filth covering the exterior eventually seeps inside, soiling one's very spirit. I <laughs> just... I didn't know there was soap in this game. I feel I feel much better. Is it antibacterial? I'm gonna remove the filth from the outside of the body before it seeps into the inside of the body. Probably not antibacterial. Yeah, you're right. I have a real bad feeling about what's down this river. Melted mushrooms. Maybe I can make myself some more soap. Oh, you know, I found Alexander again. Following his, um... Adventure at the... Tournament. He's outside of Jarberg. He's stuck in the ground again. We need something to get him out. He said, look for something that will make him slippery or something like that. So maybe the soap will do the trick. What is going on here? Wow. Yeah, okay. I said I had a bad feeling about what was down here, and I still do. That is a very large, very... Dead skeleton, dressed in yellow. Okay, what are you? Dragon skin soldier of Noxtella. Right. Okay, hi. Dragon Skin Soldier. Not a dragon, actually, but kind of a dragon wearing individual. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, he's got wings now! And he can shoot lightning bolts! Oh, this is good. Ha <laughs> ha! 
kills me in one hit, gives me frostbite for good measure. You know, that's uh, a very generous individual. Gosh, you know what he reminds me of? His face reminds me of the Evang the Eva units from Evangelion. Good way to start the night. With the dragon skin soldier of such and so people. Noxtella. Noxtella, of course, is the other eternal city. for my runes, and I died. So what was it? There, there were two eternal cities? Nakron and Noxtella? A dragon skin soldier of Noxtella? Alright, big guy, I've got nothing to lose anymore. You're going down. That's a lot of particle effects. Okay. Drink up. Is that it? We got him? Yeah, dude! Gray enemy felled. It acquired the Frozen Lightning Spear. Defeated the Dragon Skin Soldier of Noxtella. Yes! Now, what is up with this guy? The king? The king of Noxtella? Queen? I don't know. It's hard to tell. It's been too long. Great ghost glove wart. Uh. Alright, first of all, let's see. Lightning... Frozen Lightning Spear. Incantation that channels the power of the dragon, or dragon kin. I said dragon skin, it's dragon kin soldiers. Uh, creates a spear of ice lightning and stabs it into the ground. From above, on impact, the spear will burst into trails of lightning advancing forward. The dragon kin were born in the Eternal City, where they knew no true sky nor true lightning. Instead, ice lightning was their weapon. And we got great. Ghosts. Love word. 
Strengthens Renowned Ashes to plus 10. Since times of old, large glove warts were used to comfort heroic spirits given in tribute to those who died the most glorious of deaths in the hopes in the hope their stories would become legend. So these smithing stones have different descriptions too. Interesting. But so let's see, smithing stone, smithing stone rank seven, used to strengthen armaments up to level twenty-one. Thought to have been used to hone the weapons of the champions of the war against the giants, at the birth of the Erd Tree. The war against the giants. Interesting. So we went to Noxtella, defeated the Dragonkin uh, Guard. Great Ghost Glove Wart achieved. Defeated all the ants, that's the big thing. Get rid of all the ants. Dragonkin Soldier of Noxtella, yep. Alright, let's see if we can... There's two things I want to do. I need to figure out how to get up to that ledge. The second thing is... I need to explore Old Palace. Without getting murdered by that thing hanging from the ceiling, whatever that is. What is that thing? It's disgusting. What? What are you doing here? A map of the Einsel River, really? Oh, that's actually really cool. I didn't realize these underground locations had maps. So that's where the Dragonkin Soldier is. It looks like there's a whole lot of extra area just kind of in that in that space above where we were. What is this merchant doing here? How did you get here, sir? Is someone there? A customer? Well. How long has it been? Presumably quite a long time. Let's see, Celestial do Carry out absolution at the Church of Vows. Uh, reverses all antagonizations. Once upon a time, the stars of the night sky guided fate. We just, actually, we just restored that. But stars of the night sky have been put back. Thaw frost boluses, stimulating boluses. I'll take that. Acid Spray Mist. Perfumer's Cookbook. Perfumer's Cookbook number four, and then there's the prisoner equipment. Never once washed. Every fiber is filthy. Wow, never once. The smell is beyond belief. <laughs> As one would expect from tattered trousers, right? The smell is beyond belief. Alright, let's see if we can explore without getting ourselves murdered. Oh, there's, there's like three of them just kind of sitting there. Stop. Alright. Anything back here? Nope. Alright, so we do not yet know how to get up to that area where that thing is.
I still find it funny that there's just a, a vendor up there. So, wait. This map is not very useful, I gotta say. It's it's nice, but I don't... Alright, hang on. So that's where the merchant is. This looks like it's blocked off. Ansel Roper Well Depths. So we came down this way. I don't think we explored down here, but it looks like this is a dead end anyway. Uh, there's the sluice gate, yep. Wool Palace Ruins. The Hermit Merchant. Kind of feels like we should be able to go in here and then like up this way, up into here. But I think that there's a giant wall there. Okay, we're definitely not getting up this. So we're not going up that way, so that's a dead end there. This is where the ants are. So you go up this way. Sluice gate. Elevator. Old palace ruins. Entrance. Run up here. Or do you run up this way? This is weird. Both of my cats are sitting next to me. Uh, being remarkably well behaved. I'm not sure if something is wrong with them. I hope they're okay. Knowing them, they're probably just tired. They were just, they were just chasing each other around the house just before I went live. All right, let's see. I'm gonna see if there's anything down this river. Let's see if I can even go down this way. This is where the front gate is, right? So you're running through the gate, through the little hallway. The thing is hanging from the ceiling right there. Whatever it is. Back this way. More ants. I feel like they're looking for something.
They're just kind of looking downstairs like, Hey guys, we're up here. You're not. I don't know what he was trying to do, but he's not going to get a chance to do it. Gotta be quick here. Oh, that's a lot of rocks. Can I actually can I attack you? I can. I'll be honest, I did not expect to be able to just attack him. <clears throat> I was expecting some kind of like weird trick. Well, I got him. All right. That is the end of that. That's it. We still need to be able to explore all of this back here. I still haven't figured out how to do that. Like this looks like a pathway here, right? That we should be able to take. Killing that thing is nice, because now he's not trying to kill me uh, repeatedly. Let's take this thing off. But that still doesn't really help us out. I was expecting there to be more in this room, I guess. Not, there's no loot back here, there's just tombstones. I hope they're not mad at me for killing their thing. Does it mean I am now their god? Worship me. Shit. <laughs> I thought it was safe. I thought you were supposed to be able to just jump down. You know, that's like, hey, this is your reward for defeating that guy in combat. You get to the shortcut back. Thank you, Brent. How's it going tonight, man? How you doing? I just wanted to see what it was like to live as a mortal, you know? I spent too much of my time running around being godly. Alright, that thing appears to be dead permanently. Yeah, this game is really, really fun. It's very, very fun. I'm just enjoying the hell out of it. There's so much cool stuff to do. Explore. The lore to learn. People to talk to. And kill. And accidentally kill. And get killed by.
think it was E.G. that told us about the existence of Noxtella when he was talking to us about Nokron. Right, because we were we were discussing the existence of Necron and the the fact that the entrance to Necron was blocked off. And then he mentioned the existence of Noxtella, the other Eternal City. Yeah, I feel like, uh, I think I'm 60-something hours into the game, and I feel like I'm just barely scratching the surface of what's actually there. I can't imagine what their, you know, design talks would look like. You know, the, the whiteboards and things like that as they're writing about the lore they're going to add to the game. Oh, that's right. I have to go down... I have to go down that, uh, that right path, down that river, and that takes me to that upper area, so I can get to the upper, upper area. And continue exploring up there. These guys are so cute! I'm guessing they used to be people a long time ago. And now they're something else entirely. Hello, Aranea. Oh, we've defeated, uh, we defeated another great enemy. We defeated the Dragonkin Soldier of Noxtella. And we just defeated a, uh, I don't know, a, what you, how you describe it, um, a monster hanging from the ceiling that was throwing rocks at me. You see, this feels like it should be... This feels like it should be safe to fall down. Feels like it should be, but it's not. And the question, of course, is, if I can't fall down safely... So... How, where do I go? <laughs> Wait a second. Wait. Am I just stuck up here? I'm stuck up here like that other thing. Like that guy. I was stuck to the ceiling. So that's too far down to jump. Alright, this might not be too far. Let's see. Ah. Aha. Yeah, so I ran up these stairs when I first got here. I just, like, ran right, right up the stairs. The thing spawns right there, right in front of you, and he throws, like, dozens of rocks at you instantly and one-shots you. And I, and I thought to myself afterward, oh, that's why all these bodies are here. That's why there's so many bodies lying around. It all makes so much more sense now. Call, thank you.
Let me go get that item. I wanted to make sure I didn't lose my runes just in case I missed this jump. Perspective is a good thing, so is depth perception. Depth perception is arguably even more important. There's a golden centipede down there. Oh yeah, okay. All right, so we're trying to get, let's see. Looks like there's a tunnel right here. Is there a tunnel right there? It's really hard to tell. I think there might be. Right next to the waterfall. No. It would be right here. I feel like there's a like there's just a path here that I'm not seeing. Perspective is three dimensional. Depends on which dimension you're receiving, I suppose. So this is where we fought the boss. Let's just double check to make sure I didn't miss any exits in this room. We went in here. We saw this very impressive uh, person. I think there's stuff up there. I think that there's a whole other level to this place. This is one hell of a throne, too, by the way. There's also stuff down there. Yeah, naturally, because of this. Which means that maybe there's an entrance this way. So I might have already covered everything I can get to from this path. We might need to come in from a totally different angle to get up to this path up here. That's not too unbelievable. Which would mean, let's see, if we wanted to come this way, there's a second entrance somewhere. There's another river well. Somewhere like down here. Or in this area. Which I have not yet found. Einsel River. Alright, cool. Well, let's go to Limgrave. To the Siofer River. When you're perceiving something, you're seeing it in three dimensions. Um, and I'm saying that it depends on which dimension you're perceiving. Like, yes, pers uh, perspective is a word that is n does not imply three dimensions. It implies, like, it, it. If you're a fourth dimensional being and you're perceiving four dimensions, then that's the same thing. Oh, okay, I see, I see. There we go. All right, well, that bear was very angry at me. Ah, but it took me to just the right place. Isn't that nice?
and if I remember correctly, the Siofra River actually has two entrances as well. There's one somewhere east of here. Yeah, right there. The deep Siofra well over in uh, Kaled. love this this moment in this game where you enter this, this deep underground area this is the first time I realized that there was a whole other section like space underneath the overworld map There's Necron right there. That's where we need to go. Oh, I had this yesterday. This blue sword is... The Crystal Sword. Forged by the Crystallians. The attack power scales with intelligence instead of strength. So it's um almost... Actually, it's stronger than many of the two-handed weapons that I have, because I have such high int. It's a nice little one-hander. I never really explored this area. Not fully. I think I came through here once, and then just kind of... The sword. The sword is pretty. Yeah, it is. I kind of rushed through this place last time, I think. I didn't really give it its due attention. I got all the way up to Kaled. Like, I went up the deep seal for well in Kaled, and then said basically, yeah, I'll come back here sometime. I'll check this place out at some point in the future. a thing up there to fall down from the top to get on top of that statue So how do you get on get on top of that statue? Oh, it's probably from right here, right? Budding horn. Uh, no. This is a totally different room. Wait.
Uh, there we go. Oracle Bubbles. Oracle Bubbles. We got a spell. Or an item. I think it's a spell. Oracle Bubbles? Sorcery of the Claymen who served as priests in the ancient dynasty. Produces several small magical bubbles that drift towards foes before they naturally pop. Charging increases the delay before the bubbles pop. The claymen search for lost oracles within their bubbles. That's interesting. It's like actually bubbles. Okay. Cool. Cool. Gravitational technique mastered by the young Radon. So, Radon seems like studied with the Alabaster Lords, right? Gravitational technique studied by Radon. His master was an Alabaster Lord with skin of stone. Was it the Onyx Lords as well? So, you can, as you learn the, the gravity spells, they tell you a little bit more about the history of Radon. Thank you for your tutelage, for now I can challenge the stars. That just goes to show you what kind of monster Radon was, you know, just casually. I think I'm going to go challenge the stars to a fight and then win. I don't know if there was anything else up here that I might have missed, so I'm just going to give this a one more look. And then we can continue on. So the clay men cast their bubble magic. The bubble magic of the clay men. Let's see what else we can find down here. We're still looking for a couple things. We're looking for the place where the the falling star impacted the Earth in Limgrave. We're looking for the entrance to Necron. Also, Blythe. So Blythe told us yesterday after we finished the uh, the festival, fighting Radon. That he wanted to come with us to Necron, but I went to when I went to speak with EG. EG said Blythe had been assigned a new critical mission and would not be joining me. And that I should go to Necron myself.
You know, it all, all of a sudden makes so much sense. The connection between Necron and the constellations, right? Because they're just... Apparently they, they liked them so much, they... Made them underground. Wait, what? I can't mount in this room. What's so special about this place? Oh, we also... What was it? Uh, I think it was... Rogier. mentions that D has a younger brother deep asleep in the aqueduct beside the eternal city of Necron. It said he stood before the Prince of Death not far beyond that spot. So I have to find this place, man, a way up there. It's, it's actually right there, you can see it. That's where Necron is. This isn't in combat with something. Weird. Alright, where are we? Seal for Riverbank? I think this was the place that I didn't fully explore. Because I was just so... like... overwhelmed by everything that was down here. Map of Seal for River. Hey, look at that. Map found. That's the well. Oh, there's so much down here. I def definitely did not give it its due. Hollow Horn Grounds. Wait. Are you a boss? Are you a boss? Or are you a, a friendly person? You're dead. I take it back. You're just dead. Um, but you're a very impressive creature. Whatever you are. That's interesting, it's like a giant stag down here, just in this area. It makes me wonder if I had come down this way earlier in the game, if that uh, would have still been alive. So this appears to be the aqueduct, right? Said aqueduct of Necron. I wonder if Dee's brother is somewhere nearby. That's exactly what I needed. Spiritual, like ghostly, uh, beastman? Oh, well. Okay, I guess I'm up here now.
Stone Sword Key. Hang on to that for later. Yeah, this whole area is just quite lovely, right? <clears throat> I feel like I should get up there. That seems like a important place, which is down this way. Einsel River, and this is the Seofer River. Interesting that they would hide a stone sword key up here. So what do I do from this place? What am I doing here? <laughs> Get the feeling I'm not supposed to actually be on this part. Oh, we just jumped down. Hey, there we go. <laughs> yeah, Brett, I was feeling pretty, uh... Unsure about that whole thing myself. Dwelling arrow. I was not sure how that would turn out. Oh, oh, that is that is a bottomless pit right there that I almost jumped right into. After all of that, it'd be such a shame for me to just fall off the edge of the map. Light flame. Can't hurt me, I'm lighting flame. Never mind, I'll take it back, you can't hurt me. Lighting flame or not. Alright, well, flame has been lit. I don't know what that does, but we we did it. Wait, why am I above ground in Limgrave? Oh, I guess that was the last place I rested at. They remind me a lot of Radon. The, the Radon, when you're trying to get close to him at the very beginning of the fight. He's just sniping at you from a mile away. Just look at the size of that arrow. <laughs> that actually one HP. All right, two arrows. Nice, nice, good. Alright, the flame appears to still be lit. Right, 
flame lit. So the three flames. Still don't know what it does, but they're they're lit. he know? How did he know? So that when I landed he was instantly ready to hit me. How did that crab know? Worshippers Woods. timing was impeccable, wasn't it? it was absolutely impeccable. What are they looking at? Hello. Hi there. arrows and I'm super dead. That's okay. Flame lit. Not sure what that does for me, but flame has been lit. Yeah, that was the, the god timing from that crab, I gotta say. What are the odds? Apparently pretty good. Ash of War, square off. Nice. It's almost a shame I don't really use Ashes of War. Wait, what? Is there actually a... There's not... There's nothing down there. There's nothing down there. Nice, a golden seed. Ooh, I was looking for one of those. I think that's a complete upgrade. Another upgrade. All right, very tightly around this thing. Stone sword key, nice. Worth it? I don't know. Maybe. Give it a big fat maybe. Or 
Or what else is down here? What have I not explored yet? There we go. Nothing there. So hang on, wait. Seal for River Well Depths. This is the Hallowhorn Grounds where that thing is dead. The Seal for a River Bank. This is the place with the monument. So what is this? Oh, this must be this must be Nakron. From the top. What's this then? Is that Dracula's Castle over there? The upside down Dracula's Castle, you know. The second half of the game. Oh. Well, what have we here? A rune arc. Oh yeah, there is something down there. You can actually, like, I see land down there underneath the... whatever this is. These buttresses? It looks like you can actually be down in that... where that waterfall is coming from. I don't really see anything down there to indicate that it's worth it, but it seems like, just by the way that the, the landscape is drawn, that you can, in fact, go down there. All right, so we've lit lots of fires. The um, forest fire has not yet begun. Hello? Drink. 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 Now what would be really cool is if I could get these arrows. I mean, I guess I already have the Radon arrows. The spears. But I like the uh, the ethereal look, you know? It's uh, it's actually pretty cool. Although I guess, I, I guess you do get them, the dwelling arrows, right? Wait, is this the exits? Yes. This is the exit. So I've already come back this way. This is the deep well. Wait a second. Hang on. What is that? It looks like a waypoint, but I don't have a waypoint down. I was actually ignoring that because I thought it was a waypoint that I had placed. That I was somehow seeing above ground. Oh, it is. Yeah, two. What is two? Wait, what is two? Oh, two is... The Finger Reader Crow. Yeah, I'll take that off. show these guys. I don't much appreciate being sniped, buddy.
So they're they're busy worshiping something. I'm not entirely sure what they're looking at. Something up there. Almost looks like the Parthenon. Up on that hill. Seems like a pretty cool place for some gods to hang out, you know what I'm saying? Put on some togas. Grab a beer, hang out for a while. Worshippers Woods. Alright, so we want to get... Oh, let's see, maybe we can... Let's try going here. Towards two. I think I went up that elevator last time, and I never came back down and explored this little bit past this place. Some land octopi back here. Oh, this is good. This is actually a really nice place, you know? If it weren't for all of the murderous ghosts and stuff like that. It's very scenic. Oh, hi. Like, what the hell? You... You killed my horse! Alright, you didn't kill my horse, you just dismounted me, but still. Rude. Okay, well, uh, alright. Just got a little bit ambushed there, that's fine, that's fine. Everything's okay. Nice try, buddy. Alright, that is one more... Beacon lit. Man, I wish I had an idea about what these things do to kind of work off of, you know? Like, why am I going through here and lighting these fires? Armorer's Cookbook, Chapter 6. Chapter 6, Armorer's Cookbook. Preserving Bolluses. Oh god. Okay, well, I guess I'm down here now. Oh. Oh! Oh! I see. Suddenly it all makes sense. We're, we're still missing one. We're missing one somewhere. If I understand what's going on, we have eight things to light. Inverted Hawk Heater Shield. Wait, what? Inverted Hawk?
why not right side up hawk? Yeah, this is the hollow horn grounds, right? Yes. So we're still looking for one beacon. Power gathers somewhere in Horned Remains. Ah, there we go. So we lit all the signal fires. Now power has gathered. Yeah, that's pretty pog. <laughs> Alright, wait, there's a, uh... I think there's a point of grace nearby here, right? Yeah, okay, it's right here. Seven and four? Let's do six and five. You hope it's a new friend? Oh yeah, it's gonna be, uh, he's a very friendly... Reindeer. Very friendly. In fact, I can't wait to go make his acquaintance. It, it's acquaintance? His acquaintance? Hollow Horn Grounds. Touch? Touch the remains? <laughs> that does not sound like a good idea, but alright. Touch remains. Oh. Wait, I didn't want to come here. Where am I? Oh, there's a stake of America here, that's nice. All right, well, I guess, I guess this is just the way we're going. Here we go. Ancestor spirit, and this is a large arena. I feel like my Kaiden Swordsman gets the short end of the stick sometimes. Poor guy. He tries his best, but he always ends up, like, standing in AoEs or whatever. He's gonna get crushed. Did he just dodge? Good for him. Way to go, man. Was real close. Yeah, the music is just incredible. What a what a very it just like aesthetically pleasing fight. Ancestral follower ashes. Summons ancestral follower spirit, the spirit of the horned folk who eschew letters and metalworking. Brawny and versed in distinctive spiritual arts, this particular tribesman wields a heavy bow. So we have um, a knight, a stormhawk, a mage, a warrior, an archer, a dancer. I have a pretty good 
uh, Final Fantasy XIV reading party going on. All things considered. This place is huge. This arena is just enormous. Why is it so big? I feel like... I feel like this fight was supposed to be two stags at the same time, or three, or something like that, with the, the size of this place. Hey, Shadow, I'm doing well, how are you? And her ladyship, Jellyness Aurelia. Yes, you're right. I almost forgot about the jellyfish, the mascot of the team. So I can touch the horned remains to go back. At any time, it seems. How are you enjoying Forbidden West? Hmm. So we're still looking for where the... The shooting star crashed down. So we were back here, and I think the shooting star crashes down, like back over in Limgrave. In fact, I'm almost certain EG tells you to go to Limgrave to find it. Let's go talk to him real quick. Let's see what he has to say. I don't know who Chameleon is. Greetings, my fellow. How can I help? You need not await, Blythe. Descend underground alone, where the fallen star struck Limgrave, and make it yours. The precious treasure of Nokron, so that Lady Rani may tread the dark path of the Empyrean. The dark path. What's the name you gave the Mimic? What's the Mimic? I honestly don't know what you're talking about. Uh, so it's somewhere in Limgrave, he said. Getting close to maxing out Red Mage. Hey, nice! And Forbidden West is fun. Awesome. I'm glad you're, having it. you're enjoying it. It looks really good. It's one of the spirits. Oh, okay. So, it got it. I wasn't, I guess I wasn't trying to get you to explain it. <laughs> I was trying to tell you, stop, because you're, you're treading closer and closer to spoiler territory, telling me about things I have not yet seen in the game. Oh, yeah, that looks like a place where a fallen star might have collided with the ground, whatever that is. I'll try to be clearer next time. So where are we? We're looking southwest? Or southeast? Looking southeast. So wait, if we go to Fort Heights... Speaking of which, I wonder if William's still here. It's okay, Crystal. It's all good. I hope you're doing alright tonight.
Let's go see if William's still here. I think he is. I mean, last time he said he was just gonna he was looking for somebody to take over Limgrave. I think. Oh yeah, there he is. I must begin my search post haste for a true and stalwart lord. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, no, no, will you leave him alone? I don't want you attacking my NPCs. <laughs> <laughs> That's... Oh, no. That's funny, man. A true install with... Ugh. Okay. Well, I mean, there's a lot of different candidates he can choose from, right? There's a lot of different places. People. Places to go. People to find. Yeah, this looks suspicious. Ooh. This reminds me of the uh, the section of near Automata when they blast open that hole in the middle of the city. This really gives me that same feeling. All right, I think we need to go around the other side and descend some of the floating rocks to get down there safely. So this is supposed to well. The opening, it is said, leads directly to Necron. Hey, thank you, Kator. Hello, Jan. Welcome, everybody. Thank you very much for that compliment, Jan. Much appreciated. to business. Who knows what we're going to find here in the, the eternal city of Nokron. Oh, it's so quiet. Oh, the, um, well, I think they made a lot of interesting changes. I like the fact that they put the NPCs on the map. I think that's a really good modification. I don't like having to keep just, like, random notes about where people are. It's nice I can just look at the map and I can see where the NPCs are. That's great. Uh, I do appreciate the buff to the sorceries. Whoa! Necron, Eternal City. This is where we are. We found it. Finally found Necron.
So I guess we're seeking two things here. We're looking for whatever it is that Ronnie is seeking in the area. And we're also looking for Dee's brother. Dee's other brother. Because Dee was a conjoined twin. It's not entirely obvious, but the... That's why he had that weird-looking suit of armor. Silver Tear Husk. I guess giant slimes are exactly what I would expect to find in a lost eternal city, huh? There's a lot of, pat uh, of quest lines I miss, too. Uh, I am consoling myself with the idea that I will eventually go do them um, during NG+. Plus. I'm going to NG+, plus my way into them. Black slimes everywhere. Get up there. So these slimes are like, I don't know, they're made of ice or something. Interesting. What a cool place, yeah. I love the, the big, dark, lost city vibe. Silver Tear Husk again. Still trying to decide what my build's gonna be. Do I want to do like big paladin, huge suits of armor? I kind of want to do that because there's so many cool looking suits of armor in the game. And it would be almost the exact opposite of the build I'm doing right now. <laughs> and there he goes. There's a bunch of friends down there, though. There we go. What do you call someone from Necron? Do you call them a... Necronian? Necronite? Necroner? Spirit Flame Arrow, nice. Ghost Glove War, fantastic, alright. More... Silver tier husks. 
Just lots of cool crafting. Oh, here we go. Yes. Necron Grace. Necron. Eternal City. I want to get a good look at these guys. So I want to, I want to say they look pretty funky, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a that's a funky look. He's got what is that? He's got one eyeball. Nice. Look at that. Is he doing my spell blade build? Does he have a sword and a staff? Oh, oh, wait, wait, am I doing their Spellblade build? That's the question, is... Is my build actually the Necron build? The inverted hawk. Their shields are the inverted hawk shields. I didn't actually look at the description on that piece of equipment. The inverted hawk is the emblem of the company of slaves ordered to explore the eternal city. The company of slaves? Wait, they were ordered by whom to explore the eternal city? I mean, there's plenty of them here. They're definitely doing their job. Great Soldier Shield Ashes. Or Great Shield Soldier Ashes. Uh, summons five Great Shield Soldier Spirits. That's awesome. Spirits of Great Shield Soldiers who belonged to the Fallen Hawks, a band of soldiers that once explored the Eternal City. Stout defenders with a steady guard. Though their methods are somewhat crude, they work well as a squadron and will attract the attention of enemies or lob ghost, ghost flame from the rear guard. So the Fallen Hawk, the name of the, the company of slaves. S slave soldiers? That's weird. I mean, they're still doing it, so... You can't fault them for their dedication. Yeah, look at that. That is us. That is a cool looking horizon right there. Stake of America, there's a boss, yep. And in fact there is. Yeah, what a view, right? Oof. If there's one thing from the very beginning of the game that this, that they did right, it's the, the scenery. Wow. Okay. Sure. It's like, like you open up the doors to the the very first room. You open up the doors and what do you see? The Erd Tree and Stormvale Castle right in front of you.
And that is, it's just an um, amazing uh, landscape. And it just really just pulled me into the whole game right there. And it really does just get better and better. So. You can't tell. Lots of respect. Alright, so let's see. Did, I, did that guy actually drop anything? Probably not. Alright, let me spend my runes before I try to take on this boss. Hmm. Oh no, that place is really far away. That's fine. I'm sure it'll be okay, right? Right? This is going to be totally fine. We're going to one-shot this boss anyway. <laughs> you believe? Thank you. I believe as well. Also. Although the size of this door is quite intimidating. It's me! <laughs> if anybody knows what does damage to me, I know what does damage to me. Get him. <laughs> Finish me off. <laughs> Great enemy felled. Yourself. Larval tier and the silver tier mask. I just killed myself and I feel really good about it. Uh, mask fashioned from the corpse of a formless silver tier supported by its hardened shed husk. Greatly increases arcane to the detriment of physical attack power. To imitate the imitator is a cunning play indeed. That's eight, what is that, eight arcane? Eight additional arcane. That's really good. It's the silver tier mask. Alright, level up. More int. Actually, you know what? Endurance. Let's do a little bit, like a dash of endurance. So I'm, I'm at, what, 52 int? I need another 8 int before I can start using the... Let me see. That's, the staff is 8 int. I think the spell, the, the moon spell, is... What, 70 total? So another 18? Yeah, 70. Hey, cowboys. Good evening. Welcome. God. 
Wel. Goodbye, friend. Somber smithing stone. <laughs> I still want to go over to that Parthenon looking place back there. There's got to be something interesting on that side, right? Also, this is the... I think we're on top of the aqueduct. No? No. Something that looked like an aqueduct. It had the same kind of architecture, but... Uh, Dee's brother might be somewhere nearby. There's that forest, I guess. Petrified trees and all that down there. That's where we fought the stag not too long ago. More of them. Okay, we have to go down there, right? I have to. No. No, I don't. I think I can make that. I think I just need to jump onto that pillar right there. And we should be totally fine. Thank you. I'm wearing the... This is the battle mage gear. So I've got the battle mage hat and robe. Then I'm wearing the clean rot boots and the um, spell spell blade gloves. So I get the glintstone mastery buff. the The headpiece actually increases strength and intelligence, which I thought was interesting. But it reduces your FP, so I might put the double head back on again. Because this makes it so I can only cast, like, two spells before I run out of mana. Alright. We can make this. Okay, we can we can 100% do this. This is definitely something we can do. Just gotta jump over that that pedestal, right? This is it. Okay. We gotta, we gotta try it again. We do a third, third tries, third tries a charm, right? There's no way we don't make it a third time. Or is there? Column jumping is a challenge, yes. Every game that has column jumping, it's a real problem. Hey, there we go. Ha, <laughs> look at that. Doubters? Wait, what is this?
Whatever this place is, I haven't been here before. Celestial 2. Clarifying Horn Charm plus one. Oh, wait, are we above the waterfall? We're not. The waterfall is over there. Clarifying Horn Charm plus one. I'll have to take a look at that. And a rank five smithing stone. Oh, it's like a double horn. Raises focus. Greatly raises focus. Uh, raises resistance to sleep and madness. I could have used that when I was exploring that yellow fever uh, tower thing. The yellow fire tower. That place was crazy. Madness. Alright. Uh, well, that was nice. I don't think there's anything else here for me, though. Got some pretty nice loot. So, glad I stuck to it. Honestly, I wasn't sure if this was a place that I could even get to. It looked like I could, but I wasn't 100% sold on my ability to actually get there. Up. Oh. Up. Let's explore the rest of Necron, huh? It runs very well. Yeah, it runs really well. There's, like... There's still some improvements they can make. Because every now and then... I was talking about this yesterday. Every now and then there's, like, these little dips in FPS. Where the, the frame rate just seems to go down. Just... Visibly for... Half a second. Right? Less than half a second. And then it goes right back up again. Um... I'm not entirely sure what's going on, if it's doing, like, garbage collection, or if there's something that in the game is periodically like, flushing caches or something. But the, uh... It, it is visible. And I don't think it's my rig. I don't think it's my PC causing that problem. What the hell? It's the throne. We saw a throne just like that over in, um, what was the other place? Noxtella. When we fought the Dragonkin soldier. Twice and I was toast. All right, well, I will give them a little bit more respect next time, I suppose. Let's see. Oh, there's a stake of America here. No wonder they expect you to die. There must be a that thing right there, must be a mini boss.
Okay, now they're all after me. Nice. I just want my runes. You can keep your arrows, I just want my runes. Bonfires to light. Interesting. Who's shooting me? That guy? Light flame. Alright, so this whole area here, more beacons, huh? More beacons. I wonder what that unlocks. Oh, there's another stag here. It's right there, you can see it. Over in that a little altar. Hey, jellyfish, those are usually a good sign. What's this? Guided by the jellyfish. There we go. So, where are we now, exactly? Aqueduct facing cliffs. That must be the aqueduct over there. Oh, there's a there's a crucible knight down there too. Oof. I wonder exactly how far we can get him down before I have to actually jump down there and engage him, because he does some pretty crazy stuff once he gets to 50% HP. On, buddy. I don't want to fight you in that tiny little room, alright? I could. I guess like, I could fight him in that tiny room, but man, I'd rather not. <laughs> alright, well I guess I have to. I guess we are given no choice. Siaf for aqueducts. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hey, Crucible Horn Shield, look at that. Man, hardest fight of the game, right there. Wow. Just a little bit too, uh, too sure of himself. That's great. Alright. What does this do? 
Great shield of red tinged gold carried by Crucible Knights features a great horn. An ancient holiness dwells within. The Crucible horn skewers foes when performing shield bashes. Skewers foes. That's neat. And I was worried about having to fight that guy in that little room. Missionary's Cookbook, Chapter 5. Turns out he didn't want to fight me down there either. Um, chapter 5. Sacred Order Pot. Alright. So this is the aqueduct, huh? Friendly place. Oh. Oh, that guy looks friendly too. Wonder if I can just kick him off the edge. What is that? He's like covered in antlers? He's got like an antler spear? That's interesting. Order healing. It's a new spell of some kind. Order healing. Alleviates death blight buildup. The noble great the noble gold mask lamented what had become of the hunters. How easy it is for learning and learnedness to be reduced to the ravings of fanatics. All the good and the great wanted. In their foolishness was an absolute evil to contend with. Does such a notion exist in the fundamentals of order? Oh, that's interesting. So, is the gold mask saying that there is no evil? There is no great evil to contend with? Is that his assertion? That's interesting. Because the, the Golden Order fights against the... those who live in death. So I wonder if Gold Mask is saying that those who live in death are not necessarily the villains that the, the Golden Order makes them out to be. We also got a rank 13 Golden Room. Hang on, what? The grace of gold blessed those who were first to serve it with the, the most vivid coloration. I really want to find a site of grace or something nearby. That way, if I... I'm going to fight that, that guy with all the antlers. Um, but I don't necessarily want to run all the way back. Should I not win? Wow, this place looks like it's seen better days.
Oh, hi. Where'd you come from? <laughs> He's just... Come out of nowhere. Oh, hi. He has friends. Oh, my God. Mm. I was mid-animation for using my potion. I was like, there's two archers back there. I knew there were two archers back there. And I just missed it. <clears throat> so I don't believe the Crucible Knight respawns. I think they are unique. You know what, maybe the run back to this guy isn't quite as bad as I thought. Let me grab my runes and see what this guy is all about, huh? Let's see. I can't summon here, so I can't use my little cell sword to buy me any time. Whoa. Is he a crucible spearman? Wow, man. He is. He's a crucible knight that uses a lance instead of a shield and sword. I've never seen one like that before. I've never seen one like that. But yeah, sure enough. He has all the abilities of a Crucible Knight. And his timing on his dive is a little bit different than his buddy. There's gotta be a way for me to just kick him off the edge, right? Well, if he's a Crucible Knight, can I even, can I even sneak up on him? That's the question. I don't know if I can. And I could go for the backstab, but I think he'll turn around right about now. No? No? Still no? Oh, really? <laughs> Alright, I have to go in that room and clear out that, that little, uh, pack of guys because man they just come out they hear me fighting their boss and they just want to get in on the action all right let's uh let's clear out that little room and then see if we can learn how to fight spear crucible knights Sir. Yeah, okay. Not bad. Good on that guy. Don't you come into my room, he says.
Okay. I think we are sufficiently prepared. Yeah, you can't backstab him. You cannot backstab him. Or something, I mean... Wait, he also has the... He has the yellow eyes. He has the yellow eyes. I wonder if that's indicative of something. Is that his dragon heritage coming through? Or is that the actual yellow eye affliction? Hello, Ebony. Yeah, man, the, uh... I'm a little surprised that I can get right up on him like that, and... It won't allow me to... Backstab him. In fact, he doesn't... He doesn't even care! He doesn't care at all! I can be right next to him! we're after. Alright, so let's see if we can get some damage in on this guy. Shit. Wow. Okay, well we got him halfway dead. That's good. Um... I just need to learn how to dodge his stabs, because he just walks up and just boom! He's really fast with that. He didn't like that, no, no. He did not like that at all. Uh, it is interesting to note, though, that he doesn't really seem to... move very fast. He just kind of... saunters towards you. He's like Pepe Le Pew, you know, he just very slowly yet very consistently approaches his target. I can't not believe that. Are you serious? I just want to get these ads out of here. I have not, we're after. No, I have not. I, I didn't know that was a thing. Um, yeah. So I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Asking if I have fought X boss. I can't answer that question. Nobody can answer that question without potentially spoiling me and the stream. Just, just a heads up. Have you fought X boss? I can't answer that question. I can't answer questions. Another another example of that is like, how many bosses do you have left? I don't know. Can't answer that question. And if anybody does, then they're spoiling me and the street. So um, yeah, yeah. I understand that. I understand that uh, you're asking if I have fought a guy with the same character model as this guy. I didn't know there was a character, there was another guy with the same character model. That was a spirit dude in a dungeon somewhere. Uh, this is the first time I've encountered him, so... Um, yeah, I guess now I know. And I need to get the timing down on that dive. Like, it's it's not the same at all as the guy with the sword and shield.
You know, this the guy with the sword and shield is real generous with that with that uh, timing. Hey, Gago, thank you for that raid. Welcome everyone from Gago Lea's chat. Hello, everybody. Hail and well met, everyone. Hope you all had a fantastic night over there on Gagolian stream. How was night number two of West of Loathing? Welcome everybody. If this is your first time here, I'm the sharply dressed man. We're playing some Elden Ring tonight. Night number 10. We're trying to fight a uh, rather rude gentleman with a big spear. What am I wearing? This is the battle mage outfit. We don't like it? I like it. It's very battle magey. You were worried that was a cultist? No, man. No, it's Battle Mage. Uh, I don't know where they got the pointy hat from, or what the point of that is. Uh, actually, the point is right there. It's very obvious, but still. Shot, man. Ha, <laughs> one HP. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Run away. Wow. Whoa. Okay. that timing down. Summer smithing stone rank six. Alright, so that's the first time we fought a, a crucible knight with a spear. All of the other crucible knights we've seen have been sword and shield. In fact, we just defeated one. We just defeated a crucible knight with a sword and shield just before we all got here. Welcome, everybody. You hit 500 followers? Hey, congratulations, man. That's awesome. What a huge milestone. Just a real quick thanks to everybody for supporting and stream, by the way. One of my favorite broadcasters on the platform. Give him a look. I'm sure he will soon become one of yours, too. We beat a big dragon today. Dragonkin Soldier. We are currently exploring the eternal city of Nokron. Hand over the twin armor set. Oh, this is D's brother. We found him. Yeah, here you go. This is this used to belong to your brother. Inner order. Got an emo for that. Darius. Is that what he was trying to say? Darian? D is gone, by the way. Wait, did I did it hand over the entire thing, the whole set? Oh, wow, it did. It's a cool looking outfit, but it's not, it doesn't really fit my, my build. I'm giving away seven games tomorrow night. Awesome. Steam keys? Is that what's going on? There's even more reason to go follow Gagolin. Click on that link and you have a chance to maybe to enter into a seven game giveaway. That's fantastic. Steam keys. Look at that. What time are you going live tomorrow? Summon D, Beholder of Death. Summon this cooperator. 
Uh, yeah, I guess I'm summoning D, Beholder of Death. 8 p.m. Central. Did I do it? I summon D, Beholder of Death as a cooperator. For what? I don't know. Man, this place looks... Oh. For that. The Valiant Gargoyle. Alright, D, do your do your work, man. Okay. Wow, D is already like half dead. My Chitin Swordsman's dead. <laughs> okay. Alright, this guy's serious business. Alright, Valiant Gargoyle. Alright, I see you. I see you. Well, I got him down to like 60%, so it's not bad. <laughs> I don't need any more games. Oh, uh, you're right. I've got Elden Ring. I'll be playing this game for the next year and a half, probably. So... That's a good point. Wait. Do I not get D again? Guess not. Valiant Gargoyle Twin Blade. Good. There's two of them. Fantastic. Man, I was worried that there was would be too easy. I was really worried this would be too easy. <laughs> Wait. Wait a second. What the hell? So we got two Valiant Gargoyles to fight. Nice. This ought to be good. Alright! Summon... Cooperator. So I didn't realize this, but I guess you have to have cooperators summoned for some quests to be completed, which is weird to me. Um, so I guess here we are. It's 3v2.
That is such a huge attack. Wait, he has a sword? And there's the second one, wherever it is. Oh, it's right there. Hi! Whoa! That's nasty. That is nasty. Poison? Poison? Wait, where did the poison come from? I wonder if we can get down this other gargoyle before the Twin Blade. Maybe. Uh, okay. I saw him jump back, and I saw I, I saw the opening for me to actually get away from him. Uh, but just a little late pushing the button. Just a little late. I love D's design. His character design looks so cool. This game loves a good deal. Two for the price of one. Exactly. There you go. Blue light special on bosses in Elden Ring. <laughs> and here I was thinking I actually dodged the thing. Here I, I was thinking that I actually, like, dodged it. Because the death was so delayed. I kind of miss the, uh, the parry mechanics from Sekiro. I'll be honest. I miss that. I felt so much more engaged with the bosses, you know, because you're, like, standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with them, learning their, their patterns so you can do the perfect parries and break their posture. Such a good feeling game. The snow plow. Couldn't miss that one. Yeah, there are times I feel like having a having a companion, like a cooperator, help you with the fights almost makes it harder because you can't tell where the boss is gonna go, if it's gonna go after your companion or if it's gonna go after you. There's like no indication of the who currently has aggro. Um, which makes it a little bit harder to predict. But at the same time, you know, I am I am kind of like having a hard time with some of these big, well-telegraphed attacks at this point. I stuck on. Oh no. Is that a rock? Oh, 
Oh, he's coughing poison up on the ground. That's what that is. Oh, okay. Didn't see that one before. Maybe we can get this guy down. I don't know where the other one is. Oh, he's right he's right next to me. And this poison graphic, by the way, is just killing my frame rate. It's absolutely hammering my frame rate. D, you're not looking so hot, buddy. <laughs> oh, he's dead. He is super dead. Yeah, there he goes. D, beholder of death, has died. Heal. Come on, man. I dodged backwards. I if I had dodged to the side, look at that. Look at that. We would have gotten that guy dead. D, Beholder of Death, has died. Unfortunate. Yeah, there's something about the particles. I wonder if I can just turn down particle effects or something in the options. Because the particles just really kill... My frame rate. Global illumination. Reflections, volumetrics. Effects. I don't know which one of these would be particles. Maybe volumetric quality? I'm not entirely sure which one it would be. It's all about execution. Yeah, like that. That's the good execution right there. Snow plow plus the jump dive. Alright. I need to remember the jump dive next time. Cause I thought it was I thought it was snow plow plus like overhead smash. Um, but that's not it. Uh, to, well, to some extent I guess it is, but it's a much higher overhead smash than I originally thought.
Okay, so that's a really delayed dive attack on that. Man, I... It looks like I get out of that. It honestly does. It looks like I dodge it, and then it's like I, I get hit by the... the jet stream or something like that at the very end of it, and that one-shots me. Maybe the particles all have shadows. Maybe, I don't know. Usually there's a particle quality setting. But there doesn't appear to be one in this game. I noticed the same thing with the Night Maiden's Mist effect. This really hammers the frame rate. We dodged all of the snowplow that time. Nice. Nice. Nope, nope, that's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. There we go. Alright, there's gargoyle number two. Yeah, okay, I just needed to press the button a little bit earlier there. The hitbox for that is surprisingly wide. It's surprisingly wide. I feel like I have most of the abilities down, I just need to... just need to execute. Just need to make sure I don't get one shot. I wonder how much damage that thing is supposed to do. You know, as a glass cannon build, I don't really have much of a regard for how much damage things actually deal. It's either all of my HP or none of my HP, so it's uh, interesting. I should have had I should have had enough energy to do a third dodge. I don't know why I was dodging forward into the whirlwind. I think it caught like because I did it I did do a forward dodge for the first one, but I, I think it caught like the forward input for the second dodge before I indicated that I want to go backward, and that that really killed me. Hmm. I kind of want to do this one without D, but I also don't want to... Oh, whoops. <laughs> did, we, did we get him? Is he in? <laughs> yeah, there he is. Okay, good. <laughs> it's like, oh no! I summoned him, and then I went in. I wasn't sure if he'd actually join after I was in here.
here's the second gargoyle. Okay, right. D, can you take care of your guy a little bit better, please? I need you to tank your mob, sir. Ah! So much poison, wow. Jeez, man, that, that AoE is huge! They just speed that stuff everywhere, no wonder it hits my graphics card so hard. <laughs> man. Yeah, I didn't realize that when they start coughing, it, like, it fills the whole space in front of them. It just keeps going, basically. Have I tried a melee build? Nope. Have not tried a melee build. I've tried sorceries. I'll do a melee build at some point, but not not yet. I guess I'm not using D this time. These guys are surprisingly nimble for their size. I feel like one would have been sufficiently difficult. But then again, if we get one of them dead, then we can get them both. If we could just get the one of them dead, I feel like that's when we can really clinch the fight. We've gotten really close to that.
There we go. Wow, I thought I was actually out of range of that, but the range on his sword is a lot more forgiving than I expected. There's actually a second door. I just realized that. There's a second door. It looks like it, it comes into the room from the same side that I'm traversing the, the mist. I wonder where that door goes. It's like over here. Hello, a door. Thank you. Oh, man. It's just execution. Oh yeah, there you go. There's a command for that. Thank you, Gigo. What? What? <laughs> I don't know, man. I have no idea. It feels like, it feels like I'm dodging that at the right time, but every time he aims that at me, I die. <laughs> that's like, that's so wild. I'm looking at him, I'm like, I, I, I see him powering it up, I say, okay, this is going to be the time I actually get away from it. Every time he's hit, he's hit me with that. I feel like spellcasters need summons a lot more than brute force melee. Uh, yeah, sure. There's two reasons I use my summon. The first is I feel like it's more mana efficient to use my summon than to actually spend my mana bar casting glintstone. The second is every now and then he gets aggro, and sometimes that can be useful. It's easier for me to plan when to dodge if I know he's he's looking at me. Because otherwise, I'm like, oh, is he looking at me? Is he looking at this other thing? It turns the it changes the shape of his attacks. So there's both uh, good things and bad things about it. And it's funny, I was talking to somebody just yesterday about the Radon fight and how, as a melee, he had to spend all of his time summoning versus me as a caster. Uh, we didn't. Okay. Let's get out of the poison. That was like from across the room, Bloomberg hit me with that thing. That is a buzzsaw, by the way. That's a buzzsaw on a stick that that guy is using. That is an absolutely sick weapon. No plow? Yeah. Alright, D's dead.
All right, that's one dead. I don't know this guy's attacks as well as the other one, so we'll see how this goes. The delay. Wow, the wind-up on that. What was it? The stomp? The, like, pose? The swing? And then it connected? That was the most delayed attack I think I've seen in a long time. That was wild. We're done. It's supposed to be a long fight. I think it took me... I think it took 10 or 15 minutes on my kill to get him down. Because, yeah, I spent most of my time just, like, running in circles on my horse. Trying to find openings for him. I feel like that fight's much easier as ranged. Finding openings as a melee must be a nightmare. Or you just let all your summons do the work for you, because I think it's what, like, four summons that you can use. Hey, I survived that time. Nice. That's improvement right there. Second one has spawned. I can't compare because I never played Bloodborne. So I wouldn't know. It's hard for me to say otherwise. I hear a lot of good stuff about it, though. And I hope one of these days I get to play it. Whether it's like remastered or whatever they do. Uh-oh. Bloodborne is really good towards the end. Oh, that's, that's not a great sign. That's not a glowing endorsement, you know that, right? <laughs> it's, and it better be really, really good up until the end, too, right? Shot. That axe is just one hit, man. one hit every single time. Now there's certain there are certain attacks I can survive with like one HP. I'm trying to find more opportunities for damage. So I'm really trying to like push my damage windows. And I might use a different summon. I guess I'll do that next time. Um, I feel like this guy just dies to the poison so easily that 
he's not really getting a whole lot of value. He has a pretty big meatball, which is nice. Okay. Yeah. I was hoping that the, the last bit of my iframes would, would carry me through that axe swing at the end of the two... Like, the whirlwind attack. Wasn't so lucky. Okay. Equipment. Switch. All right, let's see. Um, do you want to try Banished Knight Ingval? Or Stormhawk Dean? Let's try the Stormhawk and see how this goes. I've never used the Stormhawk before. Oh, she does a... Uh, like a damage up buff, that's nice. But boy, she gets stomped. Oh, did I not summon D? Oh, it's not a summon D. Oops. Okay. Man, this fight is something else. The double the double fights are always always a challenge. I'm looking forward to fighting the double tree guardians at the entrance to Lanedale. I kind of ran right past them. Um when I when I got to the city initially. But they're just sitting there right outside the gate. The double tree guardian fight. The other fight that was actually really fun was Malformed Warrior Crucible Knight. That was interesting. Because the Malformed Warrior, all he does is attack, 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 attack all the time. And Crucible Knight likes to stand back. But he's, like, implacable. So he just walks towards you the whole time. So eventually he'll catch up to you and you need to deal with him. Um... Yeah, that was great. Felt really good to get that one down. No, oh, my great shield dudes. Getting absolutely destroyed by that poison. They seem to do a really good job of tanking everything else though, so they're not bad. This is the poison that's really uh, kind of messing them up. You spend an hour experimenting with Ashes of War on a jail boss? Nice. Yeah, I haven't used like half of my Ashes of War. Uh, 
like this guy, Vanished Knight Ingball. I'm not even sure where I picked him up. I just kind of was looking through my inventory and Ingval was in my inventory at some point. There he was. Oh, the Ashes of War. Sorry, yeah, the right. Um, right. Anyway, Ingval appeared in my inventory. I have no idea how good he is. He seems to be okay. He's just taking a beating right now. He's getting walloped. D, what are you doing? Taking any chances of that thing. It's the poison that's really the big killer, honestly. Oh god. Might be dead. D might be dead. Alright, it's the poison and the melee attacks. <laughs> the giant axes. Don't help. He is still alive. Oh. But for how long? Nobody knows. Because he's just soaking damage right now. That's all he's doing. Don't come over here. You stay right where you are. that got me last time. I dodged the first part, I didn't realize there was a second half to. I didn't realize there was a second half to that attack. Yeah, we're making progress, that's right. We've got the, the first guy dead. Second guy to 50%. It's just a matter of learning the timing on the, the dude with the twin blade. Uh, I feel like once I get that, we're in pretty good shape. So this guy, I'm feeling pretty good about him. It is raining and snowing. Nice. Is that good? Do you like rain snow?
second guy is up. is getting just absolutely rocked right now. So the secret to dodging that uh, that line AoE. I have to dodge to the left, not the right. It feels so silly. That's the that's the big difference. The big difference is you have to dodge left, not right. That's a lot of AoE damage that guy does. So there's three sections of that attack. I need to dodge all three of them. Oh, out of mana. Well, that's bad. Wait, how are my potions looking? I got one health, no mana pots. Oh, okay. I was trying to get close to him because that's the only thing I can do is I only... Wait, is he healing? Oh god. Wait, does, do they regen? Oh no. It's odd to see, but the both rain and snow. It's a superposition of weather. Do they... I, I just noticed that. He ended that at max HP. He ended at max HP, which means that he's getting his HP back somehow. Like, I don't know if he's... I didn't... I wasn't paying attention to which ability it does it, but uh, it, maybe it's when he hits me or something. Alright, here we go. I'd love to be able to summon more than one of these guys.
knew I was done. As soon as I as, as soon as I saw him taking the the plow position and I was still casting that spell, and I knew there was no way I was gonna get get that thing off and dodge before he ran me down. It's too bad. I felt I felt pretty good about that one. I wish I had more time to kind of play that out. Alright guys, off you go. Attack. You got this. I know you do. You're good. That was such a weird angle for them to come and attack me at. Yeah, we are we are making progress. I I can I can see which attacks he has. I'm just getting myself into some some tricky situations trying to squeeze out DPS with this guy. The skillies only get one revive? I don't know. That I might have died before they uh were able to come back to life? Not sure. We'll find out. For science, yes. It's kind of funny watching D fight next to some of those who live in death. Are you kidding me? Oh, come on. Yeah, it seems like they came back more than once there. I think they just stay alive. It says that they come back until they're killed properly. I don't know what, what properly killing them means. Maybe there's certain NPCs that use... Like, D has abilities that can exercise those who live in death. For instance.
Yeah, see, you just dodge left instead of right, and you're good to go. Okay, all right, all right, all right, I'm out of here. Goodbye. Come on, D, heal yourself. Or did you already heal yourself? That guy over there is just spinning his whole arm around like that guy in Indiana Jones. Where's my gun? I just want to shoot him. Alright, I need to pay attention to when this guy heals himself. gonna be real tough. Now I might need to I might need to finish this guy first, the twin blade. I don't know if I can if I can actually do that, but man. Um like his attacks, I just don't know if I can get close to him to finish him off. That's the problem. And I'm thinking about how am I gonna kill this guy? And I'm running out of mana. So the only way I can... There's two things I can do. I can either do more damage with my melee weapon, or I can adjust my potions so I have more MP. And I think I'm going to need two more. Maybe more than that. So I have to go like four and seven? Something like that? Which isn't great, but then again, most of their attacks are one-hit kills anyway, so... Might be all the same. I wonder if D's brother ever says something. Does he talk to him? He's kind of catatonic. Give him the armor. Still kind of catatonic, but less so. Where is he? He's down here. Where does he put on the armor? And then becomes the D summon. Maybe that's what happens.
Okay. So we've got much more mana now. Way more sustain than I had before. The question is whether or not it's enough. Is it enough? So I need to do two things. I still need to be a little bit more conservative with uh, attacks. Definitely want to get hits in with my melee weapon when I can, but primarily with my magic. Well, that guy just jumped straight out of that waterfall. That's pretty cool. I didn't see the way that that uh, other gargoyle enters the arena until just now. Dodge. I thought that dodge was timed perfectly, but I guess not. Maybe just a little bit too early? Maybe just a smidge too early? Dirty Llama Models. Thank you for that follow a few minutes back, appreciate that. Given the katana a try, I don't know. Just feel like it's much more aesthetic, therefore it must be more effective, right? Instantly killed both of my skeletons. This is an awful place to be tanking these guys. It's like such a... Such a small little area. He's doing such a good job of tanking. Nice work, man. And now he's dead. 
out of healing, by the way, too. Those reduced healing potions really... making themselves known, huh? I wouldn't have been able to survive that anyway. And see, he's, like, healed up. Is it, is it the, maybe it's the poison. Sending in the poison heals him up. I don't know. That's so weird. Now that's a look. That's a look. Only Godric would love. I'll make a change if I feel like it's necessary. Thank you. Ingval. Got some work to do, buddy. Is D really shooting him with, like, Captain America shields? That's what it looks like to me. He's got the, the giant glowing shield boomerang going on. see anything that's going on here. I have no idea what's going on. That was such a huge waste of mana. No, those rocks have much larger hitboxes than it would make them seem. is so close to dying. Get up! Yes! Yes! Alright, one more. Alright, D, it's you and me, man. It's you and me, buddy. You can do this, right? I'll top myself off. Just in case. I don't want to get one shot. Close, less than fifty percent. Oh, this is good. That's huge damage right there. That is huge damage. I'm out of I'm out of MP. I'm out of mana pots. 
I'm out of mana plots. Oh no, this is really bad. D, buddy, I need you to go over there and finish him off, okay? D, friend, I need you to do like 10% of his hit points and damage. That's it. Oh shit! Yes! Yes! We did it! We got him! Yes! Yes! Look at that! Gargoyles, great sword, gargoyles, twin blade. That was it, man. That was the whole thing. We did it. Oh boy. Oh, <laughs> talk about pushing my resources to their limits. Oh yeah, I could have used some, some consumables to make the fight a little bit easier, but dude, that that was sick. You can summon D on this fight. Yeah, yeah, I think you have to do a quest line to get him available here. But yeah, he helps you out. Hey, Shadow Fox. The backdrop for this boss is sick. Yeah, the, um... Gosh, if they did one thing right, and they did a lot of things right with this game, it's the boss arenas. A lot of them are just so impressive. They look so cool. All right, we got two new weapons, right? Gargoyle sword and the gargoyle polearm. Is that what we got? It's got to be a two-handed sword, right? Gargoyle's great sword. Bronze greatsword wielded by Valiant Gargoyle. Just like the wielder, the missing parts have been mended with corpse wax. A patchwork of champions. So those guys were just rotting. And they put themselves back together with corpse wax. Gargoyle's twin blade. Bronze twin blade wielded by Valiant Gargoyle. Just like the wielder. Okay, the missing parts have been mended with corpse wax. Spinning slash... Need 18 strength. Well, I can do that. I can get 18 strength. Yeah, I think you have to give D's armor to his brother. His brother is right outside. Um, in order for him to be available as a summon. Rest in coffin. This, there's no way this ends well, right? Hang on, let me just climb into this coffin real quick. This seems like a good idea. You gotta put the lid on to protect you from all of the water, from the waterfall. Otherwise you'll just drown. Oh! What? It's a... Coffin elevator! Alright, have fun, Shadow. Coffin elevator. That's something that was missing from Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Cascavator. I rise. Behold my magnificence. What? Where did we find ourselves? Deep root depths. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, 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 hang on here. We're no longer in Necron. We are in... Like, we're beneath Landell. Under the Erd Tree. 
And that is one of the tree protectors, the tree guardians. I thought I was a little bit further away from him than I was, apparently. So, wait. We're, like, right beneath the Ur tree. Hey, Creed. You got here just in time. Alright, let's see. I want to level up. Let's level up. Let's get myself a level. Used to gain a great many runes. Hey, thank you for shouting out Creed in the chat. Okay, go appreciate that. Also playing some Elden Ring. Oh yeah, that boss was something else, man. I love how cinematic the boss fights feel. Right, it feels like, it feels so epic. Everything feels epic. Even the regular boss fights feel epic. Just a different kind. Come on. There we go. Alright, cool. Tree Guardian down. Staff of the Avatar. Ooh. Ooh. Got their staff. Nice. Do you think it's an actual staff staff or is it like a a mace? It's a mace, right? Colossal striking weapon? Yeah, it's a mace. Ceremonial staff depicting the Erd tree and its historic radiance. Wielded by the avatars, we protect the minor Erd trees. The avatars, emerging in the wake of the Ur Elden Ring's shattering, were determined to protect the withering Erd tree's offspring. Ah. That makes sense. Okay.
Yeah, I'm really curious why we ended up here. You know, we were in Necron, we got into a... Oh, gosh. Uh, <laughs> oh, nice. We got into a, uh, a casket, and then we ended up under the Erd Tree. Oh, 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 no, it's got so many hit points. Oh, no. Oh, it's blocking. That's what it's doing. It's got a big head. It's like the ant equivalent of those big pumpkin-headed dudes. That's... interesting. I like this place already. Ash of War, Golden Land, the Golden Land. So much damage. Leave me alone, please. I just want to explore. So this must be, this is the earth tree itself right here. This is it. Or deep, deep below the surface. Yeah, it's quite the sequel, right? I was expecting great power of Necron to appear. You know, after killing the gargoyles. I was not expecting this. Is it just me or... or okay, hey, those are like flowers. I thought those were like splotches of scarlet rot on the earth tree. Which would have been very disconcerting. Oh, good. Flying ants. Moths? Moth moths. Wasps? Is that what they are? This place just keeps getting better and better. Because, man, what I really wanted was a whole bunch of wasps. Oh, it's a finger maiden. You know what? I never went and talked to the two fingers after I defeated Verdon. I should probably take care of that. Are you okay, ma'am? You look a little bit distressed. Should have died a true death. 
as the first of the demigods to die, as a martyr to destined death. But why must it yet bring such disgrace? A scion of the Golden Bow, sentenced to live in death. How could such a thing come to be? Oh. Godwin, the first death of the demigods. Oh, 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 oh. What does an undead demigod look like, anyway? Maybe we'll find out. What is that? the hell? Is that like a... It's a... It's a I, I don't know. I have no idea what that is. It's disgusting. Deep root depths. Map bound. Excellent. This whole place is full of them. Ash of War vacuum slice. No, let me out of here. Let me out of here. Good boy, Torrent. You tanked that damage like a boss. Man, this place is crazy. I'm really not sure what to expect down here. It looks like... I mean, that's a, that's a church, right? That, that's definitely a church. What is a church doing underground? Is this like the sunken capital? I'm trying to see if I can use any of these branches to get higher up. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Let's use this. Got some crafting materials. Yeah, so this place is... This place is real interesting. So there's... There's a whole city down here. And it's just covered in these basilisks. And I don't know, those fire breathing statues or whatever they are. Oh, and there's a there's a knight here. Who throws his sword, obviously? Yeah, he just throws his sword, and he just pulls out another one. That's cheating. That is not fair. Where does he keep getting those things from? <clears throat> Alright, there we go. 
go. Let's see, where are we? New map discovered, deep root depths. There's the finger reader. Yeah. So, it, oh man. Are we to assume that Godwin is down here? Or at least what's left of Godwin is down here. There's another knight. Oh, these guys are everywhere. Let's continue forward and see what we find. More knights, more soldiers. What is that? That looks like a waypoint that I placed on the map, but I, I don't remember setting anything out there. Or even anywhere close to that direction. Oh, hi! That's a whole army of spirit spirit guys. Um, and another Crucible Knight. Alright, well... Let's see if I remember how to fight this guy. I 100% see myself falling off the platform. Yeah. I thought it was I thought it was out of range, but that stab that that like just forward thrust they do. I will just one shot me right now if I get hit by that. Um, everything else seemed pretty good though. Everything else seemed pretty well in hand. So let's go see if we can finish that fight off with Crucible Knight Celeria. There's a walking mausoleum over there. What? There's a walking mausoleum down here? Excuse me? Wait. That's interesting. That's interesting. Oh, I want to go check that out. Once I finish up this fight with Siluria, I want to check that out. Here we go. Well, I can summon here. All right, so maybe I should just do that too. Let's pull this guy out. Pop myself off. Let's get to business. Shit. <laughs> oh. Yeah, okay, okay. You know what, I think I'm gonna go back to my other summon. My, my Kaiden Sellsword. I mean, he's, he's plus five. Can't really beat that. There's a lot of high-level golden runes in this uh, cemetery, I guess. Just a collection of caskets that are just kind of floating around. What the hell indeed, right?
All right. Take three. I feel like when I summon, I get really overly aggressive. Go get him. Like that. I could have very easily just died there. What? what? I, I'm pressing the button. I'm pressing the button and nothing's happening. In fact, I pressed it twice. White Holidays, thank you very much for that 10 month resub. Really appreciate that continued support. Welcome back. Thank you for the 10 months. Yeah, Razor Ramon. Staple. When I was younger. I almost walked right into those guys. Uh oh, they did they aggro? Oh shoot. No way. Oh, this is bad. I have to kill Celeria fast. Or just let Celeria kill me. Yeah, I think it was uh it was earlier this week. Yeah, one of the greats. Crucible Knight Siluria. So we're going to have to... Like I said, I want to finish off Siluria. I want to check out that walking mausoleum. That's really interesting to find something like that down here. That really sparks my curiosity. It's so, like, it's just a Really quick jab, that's it. That's it, man. If I could just dodge that, I have it. That's really the only thing. It just walks up and stabs me in the face, and that's it. This is it. This is where I learn how to dodge the stab. Pushing that button just a little bit too late. I think I, I think I've got the timing for that one. Just like mostly down. I just need to press the button just a split second before I think I need to. Just a small adjustment.
Also, all these one hits, man. Makes me wonder, like I said, how many hit points do I should I have to survive one hit? To make it two hits. Because right now it's just all of my HP, right? So it's hard to tell. Alright, get him! The good news is I dodged like four of the things that I need to learn how to dodge, so I feel like I've got that one pretty well down. Uh, the follow-up, though, still something I need to figure out. Yeah, I feel like these ethereal knights, too. It's really interesting to see so many of them down here. The Golden Order knights. Where am I, your brutes? Oh, where the hell are they? I wonder if I can grab them without aggroing. Uh, that'd be a no. That would be a no. Yeah, get him. Oh, come on, man. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to get some damage in. That's it. Just trying to get some damage. execution on this guy for sure. Just not being overly greedy. That's exactly like that. I think that's the first time I've been hit by that ability. The wind up on it is so long that I I, I dodge too early and then usually I dodge like twice. And then the second one actually dodges the attack. Maybe I should try the, the tanky guys. The shield dudes. 
feel like they would probably... I feel like they would probably do pretty well against this particular boss. Let's see if we can, uh... Let's see, was it this? These guys. The Great Shield Soldiers. Let's give them a shot. They've got to do better, right? Their whole job is to tank physical damage, so... I feel like they'll... really... mess this guy up, but... we'll see. Alright. Alright, soldiers. Up and at him. Stop, stop napping. There you go. Get up there. I... Yeah, so I ran out of... What happened there, funny enough, ran out of MP, and my my character was too busy doing the I have no MP to cast animation, so I couldn't dodge the incoming stab attack. I feel like I'm making this boss way harder than it's supposed to be. go. Alright, go get him, kids. Just how effective that one little stab is. Maybe I'll just try it with no summons. I'm getting distracted. I feel like I'm getting distracted with these the extra like monsters there. I'm trying to trying to be a bit too aggressive. Maybe I'll just toe to toe the guy. This is the run. 100 <laughs> That was better, but I tried to I tried to get myself some MP back, and then uh, it decided to do the secondary hit of the follow up attack. This boss is definitely harder than both of those gargoyles. One hundred percent, way harder. This is brutal. Yeah, I feel like I'm making it way more difficult than it needs to be. See, like that. I shouldn't have gone for that second one. I shouldn't have gone for that attack until I knew that it was safe to do so. I just shouldn't have gone for that uh, that spellcast right there. That that's what killed me. Just locked in an animation, can't dodge. I can see it coming. I know exactly when to dodge. It's just um, I get myself locked in these animations, and then I I can't actually respond to the attack.
I need a death counter for just this boss. pretty cool. That was actually really neat. Hey, he just did the Dragoon dive. He just did Dragon Fire dive. That was a cool death animation. Yeah, everything this guy does kills me in one hit. I don't think he has a single attack I can survive. The funny thing is, I kind of had this sense that this was going to take this long. When I first did, like, I first attacked him, did that first pull, I'm like, hmm. Got him to, like, 30%, and I messed up, like, one stupid... I messed up a uh, an input and died, and I thought, okay, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to end up spending another hour fighting this guy because I messed up one input on the first pull when I had all the momentum, you know? You know, I had... All the momentum from the first, like, defeating the, the gargoyle bosses, going into this. Hey, Evany, welcome back. Yes, another one of these, these guys. Another one. That arrow sticking out of him is hilarious. There's no way! Was a lot closer. That was much closer.
Oh god. That's the end of the world right there. I almost fell off. Yes. Interrupt him. Oh, finally, yes. <laughs> yes. Great enemy felt. That was a great enemy. Just standing here in the middle of the road? I mean, it definitely felt that way. Hey, Emmis. Thank you. I'm glad you like my hat. I worked really hard to get this one. Are we at, uh... Celeria's tree? The polearm. Now it can be a true dragoon. Great Spear. Solaria's Tree, weapon of one of the two honored, is foremost among the Crucible Knights. The primordial form of the Erd Tree is close in nature to life itself. And the Spear, modeled on its Crucible, is imbued with ancient holy essence. Gives you Solaria's Woe, thrust this tree spear in a spiraling motion, surrounding it in a vortex of wind. Oh, that's the, that's the big forward attack. Charged attacks have the power to blow away enemies. It can do the fire and can fire the tornado forward. That's neat. Hey, thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's very... <laughs> yes. Exactly. It's multifunctional. Crucible tree helm. Crucible tree armor. Crucible Gauntlets. Crucible Greaves. We got the full Crucible Knight set. We could be Crucible Knights right now. If we wanted to. Look at this. Helm of the Crucible Knights who sword served Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. The great tree ornamentation is the Knight Silurius Mark, displayed also by her men. Holds the power of the Crucible of Life, the primordial form of the Erd Tree. Strengthens aspects of the Crucible incantations. Aspects of the Crucible is a type of incantation, I guess. Worn by the Knight Solaria and her men. So I could I could just be Soleria if I wanted to. Use her spear, use her armor. Hold the power of the Crucible of Life. In time, the strength shown by these knights, and even their appearance, was seen as chaotic and deserving of scorn. Interesting. So the Crucible Knights served Godfrey. Also. Do I want to dress like that guy? Who just... Yeah, exactly. I don't know. It... Celeria just... Did, did just kill me for 40 minutes or something like that, so... Maybe it's not such a bad thing. Where's that walking mausoleum? Oh, hi. Cat in background. You want to you want to pet the cat? That is Ray in the background. Just there. Okay, so the walking this walking mausoleum I get the sense this is one of the ones yeah, I have to I have to fight these knights, these soldiers that are kinda of walking around to force the mausoleum into a different position. I can jump on it. It's just like the one in Lyrinium. If I could pause the game I'd pet Bay or Ray for you. 
I can't. Mausoleum Surcoat? Are these like Mausoleum Knights? Stop looking at your staff and use a potion. Looks at staff like, why isn't it working? Why staff no worky? Yeah, there's, a, there's an add-on for that, but um, I don't have it. I read an article about that add-on. You have to, like, disable the whatever it is. Easy no-cheat or something. Easy anti-cheat. Who's shooting me with an arrow? Oh, is it one of these guys? They all have crossbows, I see. Yeah, give me a second. I'll put the cap for you. Hang on. It'll probably move that way. Good girl, Ray. Girl. There you go. Open menu explanation in the inventory window. Oh really? That that pauses the game? Menu explanation, huh? Alright, good night, Ada. See you next time. Glad I could be of service. Where is this guy going? He probably goes up there. Probably goes this way. And then I go up on that. And then I jump down, which means I probably need to get rid of this knight. Which I'm not sure I have the mana to do right now, but... I can give it a shot. Lightning Great Bolt. Interesting. Get out of here. Get out of here. So the the mo walking mausoleum in Laernia is very similar. There's um there's a group of knights around it. They basically have to clean out. And then it starts walking towards one of the nearby rock faces. We just have to keep killing stuff, huh?
Mausoleum Greaves. So now we've got the, what, the surcoat and the, and the boots? This open world stuff is absolutely my, my kind of gameplay. It's so good. It is so good. I've put, what, 60, 70 hours into the game and it just doesn't feel like it at all. I still have a ton to do. And I want to play through it again, which is going to be more time on top of that. Okay. Son of a... I was trying to heal myself. I forgot that guy right there was still shooting at me with a crossbow. I can come back and kill these guys with magic now. That's, that's fine. That's all, you know, actually... Actually for the best. We'll just say that. I like the dungeons in this game. They're really well done. They all have like a little puzzle to them. That makes them not as obvious as you would expect. You know, there, there's like... You have to find this lever to open up the door so you can get the boss, right? And that always, always requires just some outside of the box thinking. It can be, yeah. Gosh, I was doing this one, this one dungeon. I need to go back there at some point, but man, it was wild. There were these ghosts of soldiers and things like that that were just kind of chilling, fighting each other. Oof. That was hard. Stuff in there hit hard. Oh yeah, Pikeman. You want some of this? Just wait until I drink my mana potion, buddy. Just wait. Oh yeah, they did say that they wanted to turn um, Elden Ring into a franchise. They did say that. They did say that this is going to be like the first game of an Elden Ring series. Um, and I can't wait for that. Let me tell you. They've already kind of set it up too. If you read the description of a few of the items, they refer to places that you never visit. So they're definitely doing some greater world building than just what's in the game currently. I, yeah, I agree. I would love to see more stuff like this. This is definitely my kind of game. my mana potion. 
Whoa! Whoa! Oh, oh. Okay, well, I wasn't expecting that. Hey, Zalrus. Yeah, I never really got into the Souls games. Which is kind of... It speaks to, I think, the the wider appeal of, of this style. The Souls games, I don't know, I just never really got into them. I, I really got into Sekiro. Sekiro was, like... I played that game for months on stream last year. Got through it. Did a few of the endings. Um, played it through on NG Plus with the no charm mode, which made it just ridiculously hard, but super fun. Um, shoot. And after that, I was all in. I said, you know what? Elden Ring is going to be fantastic. I can't wait for that. You son of a bitch. Don't know why they didn't include the pause button. If it's a multiplayer game, you can't pause it. I think in single player offline mode, um, you should be able to. You should just be able to pause the game when you're in your menus, but in multiplayer, especially if you're doing PvP, it doesn't make any sense. So I get why they didn't put that in there, but it's like, I don't know why they cut it for everything. For all modes, it doesn't, it doesn't seem necessary. That smash that they do with their hammers, that is serious damage. Now which game was Bolataria? Is that three? Oh god. Oh, that was Demon Souls. That was before Dark Souls. You go to Samurai Game as Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, oh, man, that was the wait. That was PS3. Wow. I feel like I've lost track of time. How long? Wait, when was that game released? So I, I don't feel like that game's that old. Remaster recently, I guess that means it's really old in that case. If it's getting remastered, it's like four years. Ancient. This area is ridiculous. Demon Souls recently came back on PS4 and 5. Yep, it did. Demon Souls. Came out in 2009. Demon Souls was 2009? Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Because I remember playing Dark Souls for like an hour in 2012. Specifically, I remember the, the year because I was... I went back to college. So I remember very distinctly sitting in my living room playing Dark Souls. Prepare to Die Edition on PC.
King's Field is what got from software. Armored Core is what I remember uh, from, mostly. Armored Core. Man. I think they said they're making another one of those. Possibly also, which would be fantastic. We need a good mech game. I feel like we are we are well overdue for a really good mech game. That's like half my hit points. What the hell? Wait, do I get one of those and that's it? No, I get two. Even better. They started development on a new Armored Core game, but that was almost two years ago. Since, uh, you, have, you haven't heard anything about it since. Two years ago. Oh no! God. I got stuck. I got stuck on that guy's model right there. Field didn't get have much of a presence in the West. Yeah, the name sounds familiar, but if you asked me what that game was about, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Seven ads? The? F Are you serious? What sucks is, it's not even something I've been liking to do on my channel. You know, it's... It's in entirely out of my hands. Elden Ring was announced four years ago. Barely heard anything about it until last year. True, they kept a really, really tight wraps on Elden Ring until it was launched. They really did. They did a really fantastic job of, like, making sure that there was no leaks. There were, there were no leaks at all about this game. Um, which is great. Because... Half of the game is the lore. And the quality of the storytelling. So it'd be a real shame if that got out before the game was actually, you know, available.
We're back. All right, Creed. So I was just saying that seven seven ads is awful, and uh, it's entirely out of my hands. That sort of thing. I don't I don't really get their their strategy for that either. It's not like, and I'm I'm gonna be you know perfectly blunt here. I feel like they'd be better off running those ads on a stream with like. 10,000 viewers? Then forcing seven ads on streams like mine. There we go. There we go. Get out of here. They're all 15 to 30 seconds. Yeah, I know. You may or may not have a browser extension that blocks ads. <laughs> Hypothetically. Yes, I can definitely understand why you would use such a thing. You know, if you were to use that. So if I kill a ghost rider on top of a ghost horse, what happens to the ghost horse? The ghost horse also has no head, I just realized. The headless rider has a headless horse. That's actually pretty appropriate. your magic pixel, buddy. Get out of here. Alright, what happens to the ghost horse? Ghost horse just wanders away. You find a spectral troll with no head? Nice. Jeff is listening? Jeff Bezos, if you watch my stream, I want more than a 50% share of subscription. For Christmas. Give me that. Yeah, it's a good horse, you know. It's just doing its best. It's just doing its best. Alright, so... Hmm, which, other, which other things do you think I need to kill? I guess I need to kill this knight. Maybe the... the other soldiers up on the ridge? The special things are headless, just so that, in case you didn't realize they were dead, there is no confusion. You just know. Jeff has one of those neural net microprocessors in his head. He's actually just like the Matrix and watches all the <laughs> all of the channels at the same time. How many channels are there on Twitch? Live. At any given time. It's gotta be a couple hundred thousand, right? 
That's my guess. Yeah, instantly gets banned. Right. Jeff Bezos doesn't want you to know about the Jeff Bezos neural net plug. But he uses to watch all of the streams on Twitch at the same time. 55,764 channels. And 1.3 million people watching those channels. Alright, so we've defeated... We've cleared out the knights, all of the soldiers in the area. This thing is still not really moving. In order to get these guys to sit down, you have to clear the crud off. But in this case, the crud is not on the legs. So I'm guessing he's going to move over to that bridge. Oh, there's another whole group of knights over here, or uh, soldiers I didn't kill. Got all cosplay as a knight? Yes. Gotta lure it over. Excuse me, sir. You could please come this way. Stop shooting. How dare you fight back? Get behind him and start talking to him about the environment. Oh yeah, definitely. So this one took you a while too, Creed? Oh. You know what? Maybe I'm looking at it the wrong way. Maybe I need to be up on that tree. He's already in position. Can you just get... Put the staff away, please. Thank you. Those great bows are no joke. I thought I was being sneak snuck up on by sneaked snuck up snuck up on by somebody else. Turns out it was the horse. Turns out it was the poor horse. Again. Oh, 
Oh my god. So much damage. Are you kidding me? No, my, my horse! And they never run out of ammo. It's disgusting. Is he back to shooting at me? Where'd he go? Anyway. Ah! Get away! These little guys are so goofy. But they're so deadly at the same time. Kudos to whoever designed those things. I could try killing the horse, yeah. Those guys are far less dangerous than in Dark Souls. But the... The little big-eyed lizard guys? Repo enemies are the worst? They are. Red Dawn was even, was like, by far the worst. Oh my god. That first part of that fight, where he's just sitting there shooting you from a mile away with his supersonic arrows, Oh, you know what? Actually, that might have done it, because killing that horse gave me, um, refresh on my flasks. Hello, big murder face. Thank you for that follow. Alright, it looks like it might be going in, the, in that direction, but... Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. It's still kind of going in circles. In DS2, the half they half barred petrified you if you took a hit. Wow, damn. Yeah, they don't have petrify in this one. They have death. It's just death. <laughs> they just kill you if they hit you. Well, if the bar fills up, I should say. Oh my god. Wow, that headshot. Oh my... Whoa. I feel like he shoots faster too when you get close to him. Oh no. My cats are out of control. I have an arrow sticking out of my forehead. I don't even I don't even know how to like attack this guy. Where'd he go? No, dude! Oh my god. Alright, we got him, but at what cost? Petrification also killed you, just yeah, I'm just saying it's just death now. That's that's it. It's just a death bar. Which I mean, I guess in, in the other games that would just be. Can you hear that? Are they like? I feel like they're being loud enough to activate my microphone, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, it would just be the same thing, just with a different name. can't hear what? You can't hear it? Okay, so my cats are, like, running around in the room behind me, attacking each other. Just very loudly. So I wasn't sure if you all could hear them. Wow. 
Okay, I feel like that might be it for the night. It's 1 a.m. Should probably get some rest. I'll come back to this on, uh, let's see, my next...